Chapter 4 The Motions of the Earth Class 6 Social Science Something to know Question A Take the correct option 1. On 22nd December, the sun rays are vertical at the Option B Tropic of Capricorn 2. Which statement about a leap year is incorrect? Option C February has 28 days. 3. If there is noon on one side of the earth, the opposite side will have Option C Midnight. 4. On 23rd September, midday sun is overhead at the Option A Equator. 5. The angle of sun rays on 21st June on the Tropic of Cancer is Option B 90 degree. Question B. Fill in the blanks. 1. The Earth revolves around the Sun in a fixed path called the orbit. 2. The angle of inclination of the Earth's axis is 66.5 degree with its orbital plane. 3. Two motions of the earth are rotation and revolution. 4. The time period immediate before sunrise is called dawn. 5. The earth completes one revolution around the sun in 365 days and 6 hours. Question C. Match the following. 1. The duration of the day and night is equal in both the hemisphere on Option E, 23rd September and 21st March. 2. The Arctic Circle has 6 months long days in Option C, Summer Solstice. 3. The Tropic of Capricorn is located in Option A, Southern Hemisphere. 4. The rays of the sun are vertical on Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Option B, on 21st June and 22nd December respectively. 5. Spring Equinox is also called Option D, Vernal Equinox. Question D. Answer the following questions in brief. 1. What is rotation? How much time does Earth take in completing one rotation? The motion of the Earth on its axis from west to east is called rotation. The Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. 2. What is meant by the revolution of the Earth? The movement of the Earth around the Sun Along its orbit is called revolution of the earth. 3. What is a leap year? The year of 366 days is called a leap year. 4. What is an equinox? Which seasons are indicated by it in both the hemispheres? An equinox is the time or date twice a year at which Days and nights are of equal length in both the hemispheres. Autumn and spring seasons are indicated by it in both hemispheres. 5. Why does the duration of day and night change in a year? The tilt of Earth's axis causes varying angles of sunlight, leading to changing day and night lengths throughout the year. Question E. Answer the following questions. 1. Why are days and nights equal on 21st March at all the places on the earth? Explain. The days and nights are equal on 21st March at all the places on the earth because on this day sun rays are vertical over the equator. Neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun. Both hemispheres receive equal amount of heat. 2. Explain with the help of diagram why seasons are reversed between northern and southern hemispheres. Seasons are reversed due to Earth's axial tilt. 
the hemisphere tilted towards the sun experiences summer while the opposite hemisphere is tilted away and it experiences winter 3 why does the month of february has 29 days after every 4 years explain the earth completes one revolution in 365 days and about 6 hours for our convenience we consider 365 days in a year the remaining 6 hours are added over a period of 4 years till they become 24 hours or one day this extra day is added to the month of february every 4 years to make it a month of 29 days instead of 28 days four how do day and night occur on the earth explain with the help of a diagram the earth faces the sun while rotating from west to east each part of the earth facing the sun is illuminated by sunlight turn by turn the lighted half part of the earth that faces the sun has day the other part that is not facing the sun experiences night this is how the day and night occur on the earth thank you